the corrosion control system by Franklin Fueling was created because there was an industry need. The fuel makeup of diesel has evolved over time. It started with the advanced protection pump, which protected against corrosion in the tank sump, but also in the underground storage tank. It evolved into the water separator, which is pulling that water proactively from the bottom of the underground storage tank into this vessel to stop that corrosion in the tank. We also introduced the desiccant pack to prevent that water humidity from the tank sump from creating corrosion on the other elements inside the tank sump. And then monitoring it, we used the power of the Evo with our sensor technology to monitor that underground storage tank for a corrosive atmosphere and to monitor the desiccant for keeping it fresh and removing it when it's spent. The Evo is really at the heart of the corrosion control system. It tells the water separator to pull water from the tank once per day. And it also tells the water separator to ensure that it runs after every fuel drop. As we develop the corrosion control system, we continue to add sensors to the system and to overcome uh, that in a retrofit situation, we envisioned the multiplexing sensor hub to ability to take all those wires and bring them back to a hub and have that hub communicate directly with the Evo without breaking up your forecourt or pulling in extra wires, which would add time and expense to the retrofit installation. As part of our development, we pulled samples from bottoms of the underground storage tanks and diesel applications. And what we found was that if we can eliminate the water, we can eliminate the microbes from thriving, thus we can eliminate that acid and the accelerated corrosion that's related to it. We're out to help the marketer look at what's the best solution that has the lowest total cost of ownership, and this system does that. With Franklin Fueling System's holistic approach to corrosion, we're preventing corrosion before it can happen because it's much more cost effective to prevent it than it is to react to it.